Welcome to a platform story. We will do a demonstration in the form of a user story for the Ansible Platform 1.2. My name is Sean Cavanaugh, and I do technical marketing for the Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform. Today, I'm going to be playing the part of Ed, who is an automation architect for Huli. And my name is Jamie Beck, a product marketing manager for the Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform. But today, I'll be playing Norbert, an IT infrastructure engineer at a remote data center who's having issues with automation. And I'm Colin McNaughton, technical marketing for Ansible Automation, but today, you can call me Jared, automation practice lead here at Huli. Really quickly, before we get started, I wanted to talk about what an automation architect is. We will define this as an engineer or architect responsible for a company's automation development. They want to optimize cloud tools and infrastructure to achieve automation goals. More specifically in regards to Ansible, we think of this person as looking at automation holistically across all platform cluster installations. For our fictional company, we have seven data centers, Los Angeles, Durham, Brasilia, Dusseldorf, Germany, Mumbai, India, Tokyo, Japan, and finally Sydney, Australia. Each of these individual data centers has their own Red Hat Ansible Automation platform installation. They have a cluster at each data center site that performs automation on the local machines. All of this is being organized by an automation architect out of Durham, North Carolina. Hey man, that automation job that you told me to use is not working again. The Nginx one? Yeah, it doesn't work. Can you be a little bit more specific? Which data center? Which host? What doesn't work? Well, it's red, and there's a red exclamation point. Thanks for the insightful information. Give me five minutes, I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll call you back. Ugh, I can't stand that guy. Norbert can be such a goober. Okay, that job should definitely work, but I want to see if it's worth my time right now. I'm going to see if it's a top used template so I can justify working on this Norbert priority case. I'm going to log into cloud.redhat.com and check automation analytics. There's a card for this right on the dashboard. And there it is right at the top. Okay, so this deploy Nginx job is pretty important. It's in my top most used job templates across all platform clusters. Norbert's failed job on the Los Angeles cluster is right there at the top. I can also see that this job is passing 93% of the time, and the only cluster in the last five runs that has even failed is the LAX cluster. Even more importantly, I can see right away the DNF task is the reason 100% of the time when this job does fail. So I know really quickly that every time Norbert has a failure, it's this specific task. So I can prove this really quickly if I use Job Explorer. Job Explorer allows me to drill down to specific jobs and filters across all my platform clusters. I have a feeling if I simply filter by failed, Norbert's gonna pop right to the top. Bam, got him. All these are LAX jobs, all IT infra jobs. These are not automation problems, these are Norbert problems. I still need to figure out why this automation job is failing. I can simply click on the link to take me directly to the job on the respective Ansible platform cluster. Okay, this is the exact job I wanted to troubleshoot. It was the job Norbert most recently ran that failed. You can see his name on the left right here. You can also see he has some special limit he applied to the job, so it's only running on specific hosts. And of course, look, there's one host failing, this Norbert special host. Simply looking at the error in the web UI will tell me what is going on. And there it is. This task won't complete because DNF requires root access, and I bet you this server never got set up appropriately. I'm going to call my coworker Jared, who lives in LA as well. Hey, Eddie! What's happening, man? Yo, Jared, can you talk real quick, man? Are you busy? Yes, yes, it's perfect time. All I'm doing is watching a, a recorded game that I have of Tom Brady aging, and it's fascinating stuff. Hey, Jared, did you ever set up that rail host for Norbs? He has some, some special server uh -huh. he got. Oh! Set up. 
Okay, uh, no, I didn't, I didn't fix Norbo's problem yet, and I'll tell you why. It's something that he should be able to do, and I don't wanna do it for him again. It's going to take five seconds, I swear. All he has to do is push one button, um, and he's, he's not doing it yet. One job template that he needs to run to, re to fix this issue. It's absolutely a Norbert problem. So that job, that automation job, sets up the automation permissions and account, right? Yeah, that's literally all it does. It does one thing, and that's it. Um, and I told him this like 10 times, and he's just, it's not sticking. Can we go ahead and run that automation job? Or Norbert's going to keep calling me, and my dashboard's turning red. Yeah, no, that sounds fine. Honestly, can we, is it time yet that we try to automate away Norbert entirely? Oh, uh, shoot. I, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, that's not a, not a bad idea at all. So what we can do, you already have these clusters plugged into cloud.redhat.com, right? Yep. Yeah, because that's where you saw all the red for the LAX cluster, right? Um, so what we can do is use another service called Automation Services Catalog and just plug in one of the job templates available from one of those clusters, um, and we'll add it as a new catalog item in a special portfolio just for Norbert, where he can't mess with anything else that uh, anything of any importance anyway, right? Um, so let me do that. I'll set that up in catalog, and uh, you can watch over my shoulder. I'm going to stop video and just share my screen from here on out. Okay, okay. So can you see my screen? Yep. All right, perfect. So I'm over at cloud.redhat.com. I go into automation services catalog and it dumps me into portfolios by default. And these are just collections of different items that we can order. And I think I've already plugged in. Yeah, so I already plugged in lax.huli.com. Um, and now we can just go ahead and create a new portfolio just for Norbert. So I'll say that. I don't usually give a description, but in this case I will. Okay, so we've created that portfolio, and now what I can do is just add that one job template that this guy needs to run. Nice. Um, that's it, Norbert's only job template. Well named. Add that, and now we're ready to go. So, I mean, he can just come in here and now just hit this button, and it'll do that one thing. So I think that should do it. And honestly, we could, we could also just lock down this portfolio so that he only has access to this one portfolio with that one task in it and just make it super easy for him. Um, yeah, uh, that I think that'll work. But uh, give me a call back if, uh, if you've got anything else. Thanks, man. All right, thanks. See ya. Okay, I'm gonna call Norbert and get this sorted. Hey, Norbert. Hey, man. Did you already fix it that fast? Well, I made it so you can fix it. Log into cloud.redhat.com and go to Automation Services Catalog. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, I see it. Why is this called Norbert? Because it's for you, man. I guess that makes sense. So the problem was your rel host. It was never set up correctly, and there was no automation account with the right permissions. So this job will fix that, and any new servers that you make can just use this job and set it up correctly. Thanks, man. I know when I call you, stuff gets solved. Wait, don't hang up. Don't call me. Call Jared. Ugh. I really hope you enjoyed that skit. The Red Hat Ansible automation platform allows us to quickly identify and prioritize the most used automation jobs, identify the tasks most likely to fail, filter and find important jobs across all your automation platform clusters, and quickly get to the right job on the right cluster to troubleshoot. The Ansible automation platform also allows for governance and control through the automation services catalog. This also creates an easy centralized control center for automation across all your clusters on cloud.redhat.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please get more information on ansible.com.